Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. So I am often getting asked questions like, I am brand new, how do I get started in the world of bug bounty hunting? Hey, what are the top three easiest bugs to find? I'm new, I don't know how to code, what should I look for? Questions like this are really common and, and that is gonna be the purpose of this video. I have listed out the three easiest bugs to find in the world of a bug bounty and Hacker One even rated the easiest one as the most reported bug in 2021. So even though they're really easy, they are really common and you can start looking for this first bug right out of the gate at the end of this video. And I even have some other videos on building tools to help you look for some of these bugs. And I'm gonna link those videos in the description down below rather than walk you through a short guide on how to exploit these during this video you can check out the links to these videos in the description they will be a lot more descriptive and a lot more helpful for you but for now let's go ahead and jump into it so the first one is going to be reading javascript files whether it is right on the actual web application itself or in the github files i've covered both of these in the past and one way to find the javascript files is just come in to the inspector and come over to the debugger and look through these to see if you can find some JavaScript files. You can also mess with your cookie and check out the storage over here and see if there's anything interesting over here as well. But you can also go out to GitHub itself like this and you can just type in your target right here. Let's say we wanted to look at Yahoo and run this. We we'll want to make sure that these are actually owned by Yahoo. So we got this Yahoo News onboarding and you can go and look through some of these files if they are in scope to see if you can find any passwords or secret keys. And I've also built a Python tool that will go out and search for these passwords for you. And you can go check that video out. It is in the description and you can make your own Python tool. I walk you through how to do it and then how to modify it to find specific keywords that you want to search for and look through different repos. So this is something that I encourage you to go watch and then you can modify your own self so that way it's tailored to exactly the kind of bugs and keys and passwords and things like that that you want to look for and at number two is the idor and the idor is actually a really simple vulnerability to look for you just change numbers that you find inside the url or maybe inside of burp to something else so if you see a one you just change it to a two and see if you can access something that you weren't supposed to access or if you can get to some kind of sensitive information and i have dedicated about an hour and a half to idors in a course that i previously made and you can find the link to that in the description if you want that full course on how to exploit idors these are probably in the top five most common vulnerabilities and they are really easy to exploit and to look for. And so you can check out that in the description. You can also fuzz for iDoors, which makes it really passive. So it's not something that you need to be actively sitting there going through, but the manual way of checking things is always going to be the best. And it's really simple to look for. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be able to read any code. You just need to be able to look at a specific parameter and then know I can change this to something else and maybe fuzz for something different and see if you can find some information. So you can check out that in the description that is going to be number two and the final one is cross-site scripting i put this at number three because it is really common but if you don't know any html and any basic javascript it is kind of hard to figure out what you're doing you can't just leave at the end of this video and start looking for cross-site scripting you can leave this video and start looking for the other two right away but the cross-site scripting, you are gonna to have to do a little bit of studying, and this is a really common vulnerability, so it is one worth looking for, and it is also a very beginner-friendly. Once you know what you're doing and you've figured out how to break out of HTML tags, and I have several videos on how to practice cross-site scripting on your own lab or home environment, and I will link those in the description as well. So if you have any bugs that you think are really easy, I wanna hear what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.